Today we are going to go through some of the maths involved in the Knight's Tour problem. So what is the Knight's Tour problem? The problem asks the question, can you touch every square of a chessboard exactly once using only a knight's move? The answer is simply yes. To understand this problem, we first need to know what a knight's move is. On a chessboard, a knight can move two spaces in one direction, then one space in a perpendicular direction, or vice versa. So now you know the move, see if you can find a knight's tour. If you're struggling, let's see an example solution. For simplicity, we'll start in the bottom left hand corner. Working round the edge is the easiest way to stop you from getting in a knot. Since we want to fill up the edge first, you'll most likely have to reverse your direction at some point. As you can see, each move takes you to a square of the opposite colour, so a knight's tour will provide a colouring for your chessboard. The knight's tour is a great introduction to graph theory. To begin to understand graph theory, we first need to answer the question, what is a graph? A graph consists of a set of edges and a set of vertices. If you're a little confused about what a vertex is, it is like a corner of our graph. So the blue dots make our set of vertices and the red lines are our set of edges. The Knight's Tour gives a specific introduction to Hamilton paths and cycles. A path is a route around a graph that doesn't use any edge more than once. A Hamilton path is a path that contains every vertex of a graph. A Hamilton cycle is a path that contains every vertex that starts and ends at the same point. But how is this relevant to the Knight's Tour? Consider each square of a chessboard as a vertex and each Knight's move as an edge. As you can see, this produces a Hamilton path when we use the complete solution we found earlier. If we consider a closed solution where we have started and finished within one Knight's move of each other, we can produce a Hamilton cycle. But is this useful? Yes. The field of cryptography uses Knight's Tours or Hamilton Paths to encrypt messages. So how do they do that? As there are so many solutions to an 8x8 Knight's Tour, the total is still unknown, but we do know that there will be more than the number of solutions for our 7x7 grid, which is, well, it's this huge number here. So as you can see, there's going to be lots of 8x8 solutions. So when each word of a sentence is assigned to the square of a knight's tour, you get a very secure encryption, which is nearly impossible to solve without knowing the encryption tour. Check out the report below for more information as well as your own chance at cracking a code with our cryptography challenge. See you again soon!